Hey guys, how's it going? My name is John. I'm here at the opening night of episode one in 3D. I'm kind of excited to see how the movie is. So I'll get back to you guys after the show and kind of give you my thoughts about episode one in 3D. Is it worth seeing? I don't know. I'm about to find out. Okay, so I just got home and my overall thoughts about episode one. First, of, first off, I want to state that I love Star Wars, obviously. Episode one is my least favorite in the series, however. Uh, so going into the movie, I kind of kept that in mind. And I was really anticipating the 3D. I'll tell you, some parts of 3D looked fantastic, like with the scrolling, when actually like scroll the very beginning of the scene was awesome. Uh, there's some parts like the pod race scene looked really good, and the Darth Maul lightsaber battle looked really cool too. And there are other parts of the movie that really the 3D was very subtle. Um, you could definitely see that the 3D was there, but it was subtle. So keep in mind when episode one was filmed, it wasn't filmed to really be in 3D, so the, the in camera angles didn't really take advantage of the 3D per se. The, the very end with the graf graffiti and stuff falling from the sky when in the parade, that looked really cool. Is it worth seeing episode one in 3D? I would say yes. First off, I'm a Star Wars fan, and that's why I saw it opening night, and even though it's my least of the six Star Wars movies, least favorite, uh, I still think it's worth seeing. Now, I'd probably get out of 1 to 10 scale, I'd probably give this like a 7 out of 10. Uh, there, episode 1, there's some things that I really like about it. I really like the music. I think the soundtrack to episode 1 is probably one of the better soundtracks. The Darth Maul sound, like music when Darth Maul, you know, and they're about to begin the battle at the end, I think is one of the better Star Wars songs. Uh, I think Darth Maul, also I believe he's one of the better like villains in Star Wars. He's one of my favorite villains of Star Wars, Darth Maul is. So I think that's cool. So there's some aspects of episode one I like. There's some that I don't like. I don't like Jar Jar Binks. I think it's too bad that George Lucas didn't edit Jar Jar Binks out of the, the movie. And that's another thing I'm kind of disappointed in, in this 3D version is that it's no different than the Blu-ray version just came out. Yoda is now animated, like the Blu-ray. So if you're expecting to see the old puppet Yoda, he's not in there, it's animated. It would have been cool if they actually added some of the deleted scenes that included the Blu-ray, or just, you know, some deleted scenes, maybe add some kind of bonus features, like make it like a special edition, so to say, so to speak. I think that would have been a really big plus in my book. And one thing I really like, I went to uh, the, the evening show. There was two shows at the same time. The first one was completely sold out. The one I was in was about three, four sold out. So, Obviously, you know, in 1999, there was a lineup of people going to see episode one. I remember I saw episode one, I had it been like 12 times in the theaters, literally in 1999 when it was out. Uh, and it was really cool to see a younger audience here. So there's a lot of kids uh, in the theater, which is cool. So there's a lot of people that had never seen Star Wars before in the theater. So with all that said, I think this is a great, I would recommend seeing it only because it's Star Wars in the theater. You get the surround sound, the audio, full effect and the 3D definitely is a nice touch. Does that add to the overall experience? Is it worth the extra three or four dollars in 3D to really see it? Uh, if you had the Blu-ray at home, well that's for you to decide. Uh, I, I believe when it comes to episode one, if you're born watching and grew up with the original trilogy, uh, four, five, and six, you're, the prequels you're not going to be as much of a fan of, but I believe for the younger audience who grew up watching the prequels first, that, that has kind of a nostalgic thing behind it for them, and maybe more of a meaning. So I think it's great that younger audiences are getting the Star Wars. I think it's awesome that this is actually in theaters again. So I give it out 710. Uh, if you like Star Wars, check it out. Uh, if, if you're not a huge fan of Star Wars, uh, you may just want to hold on. So that's my review and opinion about Episode 1 and 3. I cannot wait till like episode 4 and 5 and 6 are in 3D. I think that would be awesome. And if will I see episode 2 and 3 next year? Of course. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon. Take care.